The beauty of pull-ups is that there are lots of variations for different levels and different goals. No matter if you want to increase your strength, build muscle, train for explosiveness, grip strength or a certain skill. In the next minute we will find out which pull-up variation is best for you. Of course we start with the best variation for all beginners out there. We have three options. The sitting pull-up, the band assisted pull-up and the negative pull-up. When you do the negative pull-up, you just use the negative part of the movement because it's much easier than doing a complete rep. Negatives are our number one choice to build up strength for a complete pull-up. So if you are able to do them, start right away. Band assisted pull-ups are like normal pull-ups with the difference that the band supports the movement and makes it easier. The downside is that the band supports you more in the lower part of the movement than in the upper one. Usually the lower part is also the easier part of the pull-up, while the upper is the harder one. So this is a downside of band pull-ups. The last beginner variation is when you put your feet on a box or on a bench. Your feet will support the movement, making it a little bit easier. Here it's really important that you hold your upper body in a vertical and upright position and do a pull-up motion and not a body row. If you're able to do a couple of pull-ups, you can try different variations. Besides from different grips, there are two variations of the basic pull-up, which are completely different but very effective for different muscle groups. Here we got the arched back and the hollow body pull-up. Both will activate your lats, arms and the lower part of your traps, but that's the only similarity. When you do the hollow body pull-up, you engage your abs and hold your body very tight in a slight C-shaped curve. This will activate your anterior chain, which are muscles like your chest, abs and even quads. When you do the arched back pull-up, you try to arch your back and legs as much as possible to do some kind of rowing movement. This will activate your middle traps, your rhomboids, your erector spinae and even your glutes and hamstrings. Don't worry about your spine. The arched back is an active movement and as long as you hang, you will have no negative impact on your spine. The next variation is about explosiveness. If you want to build explosive strength, we suggest you two variations. The first one is the explosive chest to bar pull-up. Here you simply try to pull as explosive as possible. Keep in mind to not let yourself fall down in the negative part. Do it quick but controlled and don't smash into your joints. The second explosive variation is perfect for muscle up training. Here you pull the bar to your stomach or your waist. In comparison to the chest to bar variation, you now put yourself up in a curved line to be able to pass the bar. If you can pull yourself high enough, you will be able to do a muscle up by just changing the grip and lean a bit forward. When it comes to the perfect variation for mobility and ab activation, we suggest you the L hang chin up. Here you train your pull strength, your abs and your straight leg strength at the same time. When you raise your legs, hold them extended and as high as possible for the whole time. This is very hard, especially in the lowest part. So don't compensate it by not extending your arms or leaning yourself back with your upper body. If you want to increase your strength for climbing, we suggest you the Frenchie pull-up. This exercise combines dynamic pull-ups with holds making it perhaps the best basic pull exercise for climbers. The payoffs are significant in terms of more lack of strength and in your general pull-up ability. Adding a hold at the top, at 90 degree elbow angle and at the bottom is the best option to get the most out of this variation. Of course you aim for an active and not a passive hang in the bottom position. 
You can add the holes on the way up, on the way down or even both. You can also vary the time you hold these positions. We suggest a holding time between 2 and 5 seconds. Another variation which is also good for climbing is the towel pull-up. Here it's more about grip strength. Doing pull-ups on a towel is much harder than on a bar or on rings. If you lack in grip strength and want to improve it, this is one of the best basic variations you can do. False grip pull-ups are also great if you want to build up strong wrists and forearms. This movement is good if you want to learn ring muscle ups, slow bar muscle ups or improve your parkour skills when you want to climb a wall. Always take care that your wrist is above the bar. Now we move on to the unilateral, uneven and archer movements. All these variations have one thing in common. They are making the basic pull-up harder by focusing more on one arm. When you do the typewriter, you start with a normal pull-up and move your body in the upper position from one side to the other. The more you extend your arm, the more weight the bent arm has to hold, while the straight arm only supports the movement. The archer pull-up follows the same principle, but is much harder because you pull yourself up with one straight and one bent arm. Here you have to overcome gravity from the bottom, instead of switching the arm position on the top. When it comes to the uneven pull-up, you simply increase the distance between one arm and the other. The more you increase the distance, the more the upper arm has to work. You can do this with rings, a towel, a band and even with the pull-up bar itself. The hardest variation of this group is the one-arm pull-up. If you want to know how you can achieve it, just check the link in the description to watch our one-arm pull-up tutorial. Until now nearly all shown variations are vertical pull movements, but it's also possible to do pull-ups in a horizontal body position. Here we choose front lever pull-ups and its variations. A full front lever pull-up is very hard, so we suggest you to choose an easier progression in the beginning. Here you can do tucked or L lever pull-ups. When you do the tucked version on the bar, you can't use your full range of motion, so choose rings or parallel bars for this kind of movement. A mix between horizontal and vertical pull are ice cream makers. Here you switch from the basic pull up top position to a front lever. Always do this movement controlled and without momentum. If you can't hold a front lever position with straight arms, just decrease the lever. You can do one leg or tucked ice cream makers to build up strength for the full version. The last variation are weighted pull-ups. This is quite simple. Just add weight to your body to make the basic pull-up harder. This is really good if you are able to do a lot of pull-ups and want to train in a lower rep range. Now you can choose the right variation for your goal and start your training. Of course you should also implement push and leg exercises into your workout. Our workout programs offer you a complete guide for your whole body. They are a good mix between training for strength, preparing skills and building up muscles. So just choose your level and start. If you have further questions, just leave a comment. Thanks, Alex.